What up, y'all? Let's get into it, man. <laughs> so we got Brooklyn, Asin, Mendek. Questions girls are afraid to ask. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not even sure. My bad, bro. I bet you your name. My bad, bro. I'm not sure how I say his name. But uh, shh, crazy questions going on, man. We're going to get into it. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. <sighs> Look at these, man. Look at these stupid questions. Oh, you love them. I'm How do girls know when a man really loves them? What do guys look at their back shots? Oh! You know this question. <laughs> Alright, Brooklyn, good video. I already know it's gonna be spicy. But today, um, I'm gonna be asking Mendeecee some questions. Mendeecee. Okay, okay. Yeah, a lot of girls Mendeecee. are afraid okay, to ask right. guys. You know, I'm not afraid of nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna help y'all out. So I have some questions. I don't want them to see. I'm gonna be honest too. Like I'm really. Yeah, be honest. I'm not really gonna talk on like my behalf. I'm gonna talk on like boys' behalf. Like, like the. Okay, and um. Like the like the general population and men. Okay. First question. I'm gonna do both. I don't know. I'm just say. Why do men cheat? When they have a, 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 a like a wonderful woman at home that has all the colors that they want, but they always want more. Why do boys cheat? Why do men cheat? All right, I feel like everyone cheat, not just not just <laughs> men. Everybody. You said that right? Why do boys cheat? The men boys don't cheat. Women cheat. Only men boys cheat. do. Everybody cheat. What? <laughs> but the reason is because like men don't cheat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is what I was gonna say. A man of God don't cheat. You see what I'm saying? Because he have different principles, he have different morals. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? A man of this world, a man of this world, someone who loves everything about the world. You know, what I mean? a man, a worldly person, they'll definitely cheat. You know what I'm saying? Because they see, they see so many different things outside of them that they want. You see what I'm saying? But a man of God understands the kingdom is with man, so everything outside, it's like it's optional. It's like, yeah, I could go talk to that girl, but I ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? I got me a good lady at home. See what I'm saying? That's a man of God. But someone who's of the world is like, shit, I got some at home. I can talk to her. I can have her on Saturday, Friday. And uh, I got her sister, a friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying? That's of the world. But a man of God is like, yo, what's inside of my kingdom? Okay, inside of my kingdom, I got my family. I got, you know. A small circle, couple friends here and there, and I got my girl. See what I'm saying? Not me personally, but that's what a man of God. That's how they would think. I would think, right? Right? A man of the world ain't thinking. <laughs> you see it? He like. Because <laughs> yeah, I've been there before. I definitely been there before. Why do men cheat? Because like, you know what I feel like. <laughs> I feel like because they cheat because they're just like they don't put, no, not, not they don't put God cheat. first. Stop it. Why do, why do men cheat? I feel like men cheat put because God first. That's one maybe of the they just don't love the other person. Like, you know? Yeah. Like you, I feel like if you really love somebody, you won't cheat. So sad. That's true too, yeah. I feel like that too. Cause when you love somebody, like even if you're looking at somebody, you're not finna kiss them. Like you like, bruh, because it's somebody else, literally. You literally like you're like, bruh, well, back up, or you're too close. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like you come on, I ain't, it ain't it ain't no mistakes being had. I'm just saying. You ain't that stupid, you ain't that drunk, you ain't that hot. Ain't no mistakes being had. I'm sorry. It ain't no mistakes being had, bro. Like if you really love somebody. Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, we gotta, yeah, we gotta be real. For real, for real. You really love somebody. Ain't no mistakes being had, bro. You, other than saying, like, you might be like, hey, what's up? Oh, like, oh, nice dress, whatever. Like, little small stuff like that. That's little mistakes that could happen. But other than that, no mistakes are being had. And when you really love somebody, because you always gonna think, like, you never gonna be like, oh, what you doing now? You trying to come over? You, you gonna think like, yo, I got a girl. My girl coming over. Like, I'm not even, you know, you're not even gonna text somebody else on that, that type of time because you already know if anybody coming over, my girl coming over. 
You know what I mean? Like she gonna fill that void for whatever. It, I don't know. It ain't no voids, but she gonna fill that space, right? Nah, man. Nah, man. I think it's consciously these people be cheating on purpose. They really just be like I said, they of the world, so they want to experience different things. They want to experience different oceans, motion in the ocean. They want to experience different things like that. So they taking them action. They like, yeah, she here right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And it's like, no, stand strong, bro. You know what I'm saying? She just giving you what you want, but it's like that ain't really what you want or what you need, especially if you already got a queen. You know what I'm saying? Half the time they they already got a queen, they go for some lower or lesser. You know what I'm saying? I've been there before too, so that's all. I already know. I already know. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, they, don't put, they don't put their relationship first. They don't put God first. They don't put relationship first. They don't put their family first. They don't put yeah, 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 all of that. That's the answer. No, I, don't, I don't know how to, like, I don't even cheat. I don't, I don't cheat, so I don't, I can't tell you I can't answer that. You're a liar. I don't have to. You can't cheat by his nose, like Pinocchio. You just said, damn, why do I cheat? <laughs> so you never cheated, and then you're like, I have, I told you I have. So why did you cheat? <laughs> oh! Because <laughs> she cheated. <laughs> 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 Nah, men cheat because like, because <laughs> they feel me like, like bro. They see something, they think they. Uh, you know, oh, 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 I know a reason. I know a reason why I cheated. I know a reason why I cheated. All right, so like me, me personally, I, can't, I don't know how to break up with a girl. I don't know how to break up with a girl. You know how to break up. That's why I cheat. Mm. So that's why they want to break up with you. Like, 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 listen. If a dude start doing something wrong and he's not like, like, if a dude is perfect, and everything's good in a relationship, and he start acting up and like just doing stuff and getting caught and like, it's acting up. Yeah, sometimes men do that on purpose. They act up on purpose just so you can break up with them because they don't want to break up with you. Yeah, sometimes they do that just so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before too. Yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about. You know, like you don't even want to be with the girl no more, but you don't want to tell her that you don't want to be with her no more. She texts me. She like, man, she want to come over. You like, man, I don't want she want to come over today. Dang, she is my girl. All right, you can come over, and you already know when she come over. She ain't about nothing. She ain't doing nothing. She ain't talking about nothing. She just born. You know what I'm saying? You like, no, break over her. And then, like he said, yeah, you gonna go cheat. You gonna go find another girl that's entertaining, another girl that's that's probably young and fun, and you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what they do. What they do, they be like, why do they always go for the young ones? You see what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all the game. Like I said, I've been in this job for a minute, so I'm understanding. I know what you're talking about, bro. I know exactly what you're talking about, especially if your girlfriend born. It's the same vice versa. If, if the guy born, <laughs> my, me and my friends gonna six flags. <laughs> like they're gonna have fun. They oh we we, we go to the club, we going outside, we do, 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 do because it's like after a while, it's only so long you can be inside. It's only so long you can be outside. You know what I'm saying? It's like you always gotta have a balance in your life. That's like the Libra scale. But it's always you always gotta have a balance. You know what I'm saying? Some of the yin and yang. It's always something good and some of the positives. Good positives and some of the negatives and bad. You know what I'm saying? It's between. Just to balance it out. You feel me? But anyways, with that being said, it's like, you know, everybody want to experience what they want to experience. So, make sure you just live in life kind of like a kid, except no cheat. Like, do do live life with that person. And, and that means everything can't be off limits. That's another thing, because certain people, they got certain things they just don't want to do. And it's like, you like, uh, you don't want to do this? Like, you might have like a, you might have a certain thing you want them to do and they don't want to do it. So you you go somewhere else, you like, oh, well, I'm going to find somebody else to give me a massage. Man. I'm going to find somebody else to, you know what I mean? But it's like, so you got to make sure, you, and you're supposed to find all this stuff out leading up to the relationship. You find that out in the beginning. Like, you, you know what I mean? You don't get into it and then find out the things that you do and don't like. You got to find that out before. So that way you can make sure that it's your person, you know what I'm saying? So that way when you get into it, it ain't, it ain't no difference. It ain't no difference from being friends or not because it was your person. Y'all already knew what, what was good. Bro, we might as well just leave him because he really don't want you. He just wants you to, like he wants you to be, I'm tired of this, I'm gonna break up. You know what I'm saying? Like he's being sloppy on purpose because if you do really like you, he gonna do his dirt, like, and you would never know. Same way with a woman. And that's, that's really, that's real game, bro. Peep game, peep game. Keep game. Keep. Is that fast? I don't know. I never cheated again in my life. Keep. 
Okay. Okay. How am I counting? You, you cheated you just, like, It depends what's on level like, like you, I never cheated You, you have Wonder and Oz That's cheating Wonder and Oz is cheating like, 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 like looking at the dudes and you, yeah, know, like, you see another guy with his shirt off or something You like And then you look twice Just to see again Just to That's Wonder and Oz So he right And that's what I'm saying Like nobody's perfect Only God is perfect So none of us are perfect And that's why we're here to experience Moving closer Toward the high Toward that perfection, toward being a leader, you know what I'm saying? All of us are gonna make mistakes at least until at least 50 years old. Like it's automatically gonna happen. That's part of life. Like you trip up and fall a couple of times just to get your balance again. That's why we do squats. That's why we hit the gym just to get stronger, just to get more balance, get more stability. It's part of the journey. So there's no way anybody can be perfect. That's why I say don't judge people. You gotta, you gotta help them out through the hard time. Don't just when they down, people be kicking people down even further down. It's like, why would you do that? Like, see the bigger picture. It's, it's kind of cheating. Okay, so like, my, like, so if my like, niggas look at an ass that's cheating. Yeah. So what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're supposed to be looking at her face. When you look at people, you look directly straight. You're looking at their face. I'm I'm six foot tall. That means I literally have to look down. Like most girls are short. It's a reason why they booty all the way down there. They're all the way down. There is no reason for you to be looking that far down. Like if you're looking straight up, you're looking at their face, you're looking at their hair, you're looking at all up here. It, it ain't no reason for your eyes to be wandering now. Unless you unconfident. And that, that happens to some men because they not confident. So what they do is they see a pretty woman, their head goes straight down, they start looking at their feet and they go back up. Like girls do that too. You'll see it. They walking past you and you like, what's up? And she like, hey. She looking down, now she looking at your shoes, now she looking up. It ain't no reason for them to look down. I said, what's up? We looking directly at each other. Oh, what up? What's good? Like it's a direct conversation. There's no reason for your head and, and your eyes and your attention to go down. That's lower level energy. And this is what I'm saying. When you're up top around love and joy, you're looking directly up. The sun is up. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, don't, you don't even know about the snakes and everything else that's down below. You can't even see that stuff because you're looking straight up. Heaven is up. Like, that's what another part people missing. Keep your chin up. Keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? That's what they used to tell y'all. Missing it. Just missing the whole thing, right? Like, if I'm in public, I can't look at him. Like, flirting with another dude, she... Yeah, of course. You did that before. Never did that before. Lying. Follow him in a relationship? Yes, you're lying. <laughs> yeah. You have trust issues? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She responded that quickly. Um, <laughs> how does it feel when you take a girl's... Like, how does it feel when guys take girls' virginities? I don't know. Uh, 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 can I answer this? I had a little experience with that. I mean, it was, it was, it was prom night, right? And this girl wanted to, yeah, because I was older, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was, what, 20? She 18 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It was prom night. You know what I'm saying? And she was just like, I didn't even know this was going to happen. Now. We dropped everybody out. Everybody went home. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock or something like that. I get a text message. She's like, you still up? I'm just like, yeah. She's just like, yo, you know, I'm a V, whatever, and I really wanted to, you know, kind of like get it over with. And I wanted to, you know, do it with somebody experienced because I'm a little older, so she feel like I'm experienced or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But cool, you know what I'm saying? Cool, nice and tight. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, uh, definitely it, it leaves attachment. You know what I'm saying? That's like a market, like what a dog does when they mark their area. It does leave attachment, I'm not going to lie, because um, she definitely hit me up some years later. Like, <laughs> definitely. It was like, hey, how you doing? Like, you know, it leaves, it leaves, you know, it leaves, it leaves a little, you know, feelings there and emotions there. I'm just like, yo, what up? Like, I'm just, we ain't had no bad experience. Now she just moved from the state, you know, and moved somewhere else. And it just, you know what I'm saying? We just ain't talk like that. You feel me? It wasn't a bad experience or nothing. So I was just like, yo, what up? Like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, just an experience. You feel me? For both of us, actually, you know what I'm saying? Because normally, normally, most girls are already been all, you know what I'm saying? They did that with somebody else. So it was like a cool little experience. <laughs> 
Oh gosh. I never told you about the version of the original. I don't like freaks. Oh, so you never took nobody's blue? Nah, I don't like bops. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like being taught. I don't like teaching. But now I have to teach it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Eventually, the student has to turn into the teacher, and then it turns into the master. So it's like, yeah, you see how that goes. I told you that journey. All right. All right. Because <laughs> she might do it from the side on the right, but really, you, you, you like the left side. If you a man, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because certain sides just ain't your good side. You like, nah, we ain't you know what I'm saying? Because everybody different. Like, some people like mm, this way or that way. Or, yeah, this way, that way. Like, mm, I've been that way. Uh, uh. Like, it's all like, you feel me? Everybody different. Some people want to be on their back. Some people like a doggy style. You know what I'm saying? It's all different. Everybody got different preferences. You feel me? So it's like, definitely sometimes you got to teach them what you like. I'm an experienced version, basically. <laughs> that makes sense. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> Experience me. Oh my god. I get that every day. <laughs> I said I get I get that every day. Yeah, I get them every day. Yo. When you get your life to God, bro, you become celibate, bro. Everything in life becomes beautiful. I mean you get blue balls every day, bro. I promise you. Mm-hmm. Promise you. Blue balls? I don't even think blue balls are real. What? You got to be kidding me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. You ever been in the gym, bro? Like, so when you go into the gym, bro, and you, you lifting the weight, right? And then your muscles are like, it's getting tense. It's breaking it down. Then it didn't afterwards, what happens? Like your muscles are sore. It's tender and they hurt, right? So if you ever been to like a club, well, you probably never been to a club, but if you ever been to a club and them girls are dancing on you, right? And let's... Y'all, most of y'all have been in the play. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you if you don't like, you're not releasing or whatever the case may be. Essentially, that's what's going on. It's breaking down and it's building up. So essentially, you know what I'm saying? This shit hurt. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand which how you. <laughs> it's a <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think dudes be using that as an excuse to like get something. Yo, I got blue balls right now. Like, please just keep getting, keep getting, keep getting. Blue ball, you getting me blue ball. That shit. Like, that's not real. Blue that shit is real, dude. You tripping. He tripping. He must you ain't on no no fab journey. He ain't he ain't tried that no fab November. He don't know him. Bro, y'all don't listen to bro. That shit is real. Then on top of that, on top of that, girls can smell the pheromone coming off your skin because the energy starts to rise. That's the Kundalini energy rising. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're talking about something about like you. Well, you tripping, bro? You tripping right now? <laughs> even on that, even on a normal, let's say if you go on normal dates, right? Or if you just around your girlfriend, right? Anybody that been around their girlfriend or their wife know what I'm talking about. You, you, anytime you get around, she's smelling good. She feels soft. She laying on you, man. Man, you tripping? You tripping? You feel me, man? Man, man, what? <laughs> man, what? He tripping, especially around some beautiful women. What? Soldier like attention, like blue balls all day long. Unless you just around being, like he said, he like the bops, the bops. So if you're around the bops, then of course you ain't gonna get blue balls because they steady busting you. They steady, they, you know what I'm saying? If that's the case, like I said, he not on, he not doing his no nut. Uh, he not, he not practicing none of that. His celibacy, he not practicing none of that. That's what that means. Cause you gonna get blue balls automatically. That's a part of life. It's part of growth. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's crazy. Huh? Some game. A lot of older people won't tell you. They will not tell you about this. Cause most of them would just be so focused on, oh, well, you ain't hitting it. 
You ain't talking to that girl. You ain't getting none. They be so focused on that. They don't be telling you to be celibate and to, to hold your energy. They don't tell you about that. They don't tell you about that experience and, and that you will get blue balls through this journey. And when you do, that you still can't fall. You can't fold. That the devil is trying to uh, trap you and trying to suck away your energy. They ain't going to tell you about that, right? It's a spiritual thing, bro. You tripping right now. <laughs> like I said, everybody got different experiences, though. So... They use it like when you know. I got it at school one day. I ain't know what was going on. I had to call my mom. I ain't know what was going on. I had to go to the whole hospital. And then they started playing my ball. They was like, oh, it's a lot of semen in here. And nah, nah, nah. they started talking about all this other stuff. I ain't know what was going on. I was a kid. Like, so I'm like, that. it just happened. Like, it's a lot of energy. They said, what is it? Not is it real? Oh, blue ball basically, like, they say your balls turn blue and you're really horny and you're really, like, like, you're really in the mood. Like, you're really trying to, like, get down. So they say it ain't gotta be trying to get down. Like, it ain't gotta be trying to get down. Though. Like, I'm pretty sure Michael Jackson experienced that a whole lot. You feel me? It's just when the energy is at its top peak. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. And you really on time? I know I got blue balls. Like it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. So it hurts. Yes. And you, yeah, you can barely sit down. Like, yes, it hurts. Really, like on time? I guess it hurts. I don't know. Why does it hurt, like? They growing. Cause you're really on time. Like you really, 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 you know, keep game. Like you really trying to. And that's what I was saying. Like if, if you ever been to the gym, you understand. It. Like when you pumping that thing, and it's pumping, and it's pumping, and then when you get to that, 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 that last point, you trying to do it again. You like, Rrr. and it's like, ooh, it's like, ooh, it's swollen and it hurt. That's exactly what it feel like. That's exactly what it feel like. Most of y'all bust though at that point. But if you don't, that's when you grow. That's when you get 10 inches. That's when you get 12 inches. That's when you get like a horse. You see what I'm saying? But most of y'all don't understand the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all don't have the knowledge. Y'all been living life backwards. Just for real. Keep in, right? You know? Don't be yeah, but That's a manipulation tool that dudes use. On the yeah, some people do yeah. use that, though. I got blue balls. Don't fall for that. Have you ever? But you, you, you endure. You go through the weather. You go through the storm. You endure with God until, until, until marriage with a woman, and then that's when you can uh, do what you want to do if you want to do that. But by that time, you're not even going to want to do it because you're going to experience life in a magical way. And when they become that magical, you're not going to lose that magic. You see what I'm saying? You become. You're going to become a, a millionaire. You're going to become a multi-millionaire. You're going to become a billionaire. You become a trillionaire. And at that point, you can be like, bro. Ever since I stopped fapping, ever since I stopped messing with these women in that type of way and started actually doing business and started actually putting God first, then you're going to start seeing the magical of the life that we live in because it's heaven on earth, right? It's heaven everywhere. Like it's, it's lower heavens, it's top, upper heavens, it's mid heavens, it's topper heaven. We already know that. It's already been written. It's already been said plenty of times. But again, it's like a lot of people distracted by the actual world outside or what they see here on this TV or they see here on this this episode of this and that and that. But they see on the news, they're so distracted by that that they forget the kingdom is already here. They forget the, ki they forget the kingdom that's on the inside. So they can't express it on the outside because they forget it's on the inside. See what I'm saying? They don't know thyself. You know what I'm saying? So once you know yourself, Know the reason why your body works the way it works. Know the reason why you eat the chicken and the fries. Know the way, once you learn all that information, then you come back as, instead of being a student, instead of going through, you know, the life through uh, 12th grade, college, boom, boom, boom. Now you learn all this new stuff, boom, boom, boom. Your life experience, all that stuff. Now you bring it all together and it molds you into the person that you become. And that's when you become that adult. Now you can look at life in a bigger perspective. Now you can look at it in a better, different way. Now you can start being a CEO. Now you can start making uh, businesses. Now you can start having real estate because now you're looking at life in a bigger way. Now you can actually give back to people kind of like how Mr. Beast does. See what I'm saying? Now you start looking at life in a different way. But until then, you go through those low, le lower level experiences, you know what I'm saying? But again, it's a build up. It's a build up. It's a build up. It takes you all the way up. Rockets straight, shoot up to the moon. It's a build up. Make sure y'all practice for men, and kids. Make sure y'all keep y'all energy protected. You know what I'm saying? Because as a kid, most of the stuff you don't even know about. You don't worry about this stuff. It's not until you get to like middle school, sometimes, sometimes elementary, but most of the time it's middle school and you're around like certain certain guys and certain people. And um, depending on how they grew up, 
depending on what they was taught at home or what they saw, they probably weren't even taught it. They might've just seen it. And now they're applying that to life. And depending on who you're around, they say the people you're around, the five people you're around, you end up being like, so if you're around some people who are talking to women and they doing stuff with them, now all of a sudden you like, you might end up indulging to certain things. And that go with anything else, right? So you just gotta watch. Um, be watchful of your mind and your heart. You know what I'm saying? The things that you see and, and the way that you act and approach things in life and the decisions that you make. You feel me? Because again, I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? I've been in situations where I'm telling people no, but they still trying to go for a yeah. And I'm a guy. You see what I'm saying? So I can just imagine for the women out there, they definitely be approached by all, all different kinds of people. You know what I mean? And for us men out here, you gotta be strong. You're gonna get approached again by a bunch of different women. You might even get approached by men. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, you, you gotta stand on your moral principles and boundaries and be like, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Unless you unless you down for it, if you're down for it, then you live your life that way too. And you can do whatever you want, as long as you happy. As long as you happy with the results that you receiving, then then it is what it is. Oh. Get it out. <laughs> mm, I'd rather look. Never mind. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I ain't gonna pause it too much more, y'all. <laughs> no, I never did that. The second I never did something. First How do you, how do girls know when a man really loves them? I wanna know these kind of questions too. Say it. How does a, how can a girl know when a man really loves them? Tell you everything. Like when he do like little things. Can you move your foot? Sorry. When he do little things to try to make like when he when he just try like if he put effort in, even if he's doing. He, when he tell you everything and keep it real, that's how you know. Say that right now. If 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 I'm messing with a girl. And, and I decide, like, oh, I mess with Shawty, but, uh, matter of fact, I mess with Shawty, but I got this other thing, you know what I'm saying, that I met a month ago, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't gonna tell her about that. That ain't keeping it real. Now, if I'm gonna keep it real, I just met Shawty. Maybe I want Shawty and I want the other chick. I'm keeping it real. I'm like, yo, what up? Like, I'm gonna let her know, y'all. I already got, you know what I'm saying, I got a girl, you know what I'm saying, but I, should, I want you too. That's keeping it real. Oh, another way of keeping it real. Okay, boom, I'm single. I ain't got nobody. I'm single. I ain't got nobody for real. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, boom, I just meet this shit. Oh, yeah, I was keeping it real with her. I ain't, I ain't talking to nobody. I ain't got nobody. Boom, 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 I'm keeping it real with her. Most of these men, you feel me? If they can't just keep it real with you, regardless of the situation, regardless of what they want, regardless of, you know what I'm saying? If they want you and her, you know what I'm saying? If they're not keeping it real, they don't love you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to manipulate you. That's how you be known. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody that love you, they're not going to manipulate you. They're going to, just how your brother Deshae talk to you and he tell you what's real, he tell you what it is, it's going to be the same exact way. They're going to tell you what it is and what it ain't. Regardless if you like it or not, that's how you know they love you. You see what I'm saying? That's that tough love. That's that hard love that you might have received from your mama. Your mama and daddy do the same thing. They gonna tell you some stuff that you don't like. Like man, you don't even like what they talking about. You like man, forget you. You know what I'm saying? But they keeping it real, and then you respect them because of that. And I bet your whole at all relationships that you got, they be the main ones that's in it because you understand you like boom. They was always real. That's why they still around, right? The real ones are the strong ones, and they stay around, right? And then the other ones, you know what I'm saying? Them the ones you gotta cut off. You gotta get them snakes up out your grass. You gotta cut them up out of there, you know what I'm saying? Get them up out of there. They're gonna play around with you. You know how you play no game? You can't play with your life. I don't know if that. love. Okay. But love is unconditional. No, you haven't. You haven't a lot of trouble. No, because like. With these questions, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, look, bro, love is unconditional, bro. Most people do not really like feel unconditional love for other people. Like, y'all don't know what unconditional, unconditional love, love is. is. Like, you love people on condition. Oh, God. Like, when you, fall, on God. when you fall out with somebody, you don't love them anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, if you still love them. Yeah, you, know, you still love them from a distance, though. Keep loving people. Just love them regardless. That's like, um, for example, <laughs> the kids that they fart, right? And they be stinking, all right? Still love them. You know what I'm saying? Still love them. 
that's like, man, I got a, I got a lot of homies that I can't get them to stop smoking, right? I still love them though, still hang around them, all that stuff. Like me personally, I always had the times where I can just like go cold turkey and just quit. But a lot of people can't do that. They explained it to me and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm like, I still love them. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you feel me? At the same time, if you truly love these people, you see what I'm saying? You'll let them go. Let them go. Let them do their little thing, you know what I'm saying? Love them from a distance. I got, uh, what, I got an aunt? I got an aunt. Eh, she messed with the family, but eh, barely. You know what I'm saying? So, but we understand she still loves us. You know what I'm saying? She keep her distance. You feel me? Depending on who the people is and who the person is, depending on what's going on and who they're. You know what I'm saying? But we understand that, right? We understand that. We understand. We understand that. So it's you can love people from a distance. I get what he's saying though. Some people they 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 take that love and flush it down the toilet and turn to hate, jealousy. Anger and all that stuff, but ain't nobody going. We ain't, we ain't going down there. That's hell, <laughs> literally. You know what I'm saying? That's the red part of the totem pole. We got to go up to the blue, the purples and the pinks and the greens and the yellows up there with the sun at at the top. You know, the pharaoh at. You know, with the priest, with the lord at, with God at, with all that good stuff at. You know, all those deities get to the top. The angels, yeah. All the birds they sing at the top, yeah. That's unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's why I'm like saying shit like that. Because like, you don't really love somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Until you, it's unconditional. Exactly. So you hate that person but still love them? You love them. Yeah, yeah. It's a thin line. It's a hate love relationship. That's true. Uh huh. <laughs> no, I hate. You slam that damn door. Man. It's the shit I love. It is what it is. That's just them. Yeah. Man, I hate them, man. They breath be staying on them. Brush they do not see. I still love them, man. They, they'll get to it. They'll get to it. Man. I, ain't, I ain't tripping, man. Whatever, man. Some, some of the time people have their breath stains on time. Man. It's like, it ain't that bad. Like, so it's a love hate situation right there. Like, like uh, some people don't like people when they put their feet on them. Oh, don't put your feet on me. Oh, like, I hate that. Hey, put your feet on. Oh, don't put your feet on me. But then it's like, oh, but, but you still love you. Like, I mean, it's all good, man. It ain't gonna kill me. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's that thin line right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was oh, shit. No, I'm kidding. No, that's that's shit. That's real. Yeah, that's really real. Like, if, if you, you stop loving a person, that means it was never real. Shit. But like you could like love somebody, but like not talk to them anymore. Like, yeah, you ain't gotta talk to them. You can let them go. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can definitely move on and love somebody. Just like in the new dog. Like you know, girlfriend type shit. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. But that's how you know. But that that wasn't the question. I know. I know. <laughs> you can ask the question again. Fuck. <laughs> the question was, how do I know when a man loves me for real? For when it, it is unconditional. Keep getting. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that was a better answer. Uh, yeah. So, again, when he gonna tell you everything, and regardless of if you gonna like what he's saying or not. See what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not a therapist class, bro. I'm not a therapist, I'm a PhD, bro. Why do boys not like to cry? Because it shows that. I mean, I don't like to cry personally. Because Fuck that, I cry. I'm not saying it means that, but it, it like gets off like. Fuck that, I cry. I don't care if it's a part in the movie and that motherfucker just got his legs cut off, man. I started shedding a tear, man. I feel that, John, man. I be like, ooh. I be like, ooh. I feel it. Ooh. That's what I'm saying, man. Them tears don't start coming out, bro. They, they will start coming out. Like, I can make it come out automatic. I guess that's just part of acting or something. To kind of the way the shape be doing, like how he can sit there and he can just make himself cry. I can do that too. Like, yeah, it's just, yeah. Like, yeah, cause it's deep. It's like, you really experience life, that shit is deep. You, you bro, I promise you. Man, boy, I watch a movie, man, let anything happen, but I'm sitting there like, dang. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, especially when you really watching it, you really in it, you really like listening to the story, you really like, them emotions run deep. 
But like, I'm not saying that like it's, that's a bad thing. But you don't want to, you don't want let like you don't want the people, you don't fuck. You don't want people to see you vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. I don't want people to see me vulnerable or see me down. I always try to keep my head up. And, like, yeah. A lot of people are like that though they put they- But you'll cry with your head up Man you'll be praising God Man God thank you for today You'll start crying You'll be so thankful that you start crying This is what I'm saying <laughs> This is what I'm saying I'm telling y'all right now bro When you're going through these emotions bro The tears will flow I promise you You'll be in church crying The pastor will say something that just touched you Sitting there like ooh pastor ooh That's when they be like yes Lord That's when they start getting the Holy Ghost I'm telling you this is real Energy is real. And that's what I'm telling you. You can tell people who are protecting their energy. You can tell people who are just wasting it and just giving it away freely, nearly to just anybody. You can tell. These are definitely realities and dimensions that you can literally perceive through your eyes. Pay attention. Like it's a matrix. You can literally see it. You can, you can hear it too. You can hear the energy. Somebody's just talking to you like this. And they down and they ain't giving no type of energy and they just born. A girl, she gonna leave that. She not trying to hit. You don't have no type of excitement. There ain't no adventure. There's nothing in it. You can hear the energy, low level energy. You can hear it. She like, man, it's going to get, man. You want, man, you can hear that. But when you uppity, when you, you know what I'm saying, you got motion going on, you can hear that too. Especially when y'all started YouTube videos. Yo, y'all. St- Thanks for dropping in my YouTube. Hit the like button. Nah, nah, nah. That's energy. That's that motion. They can hear that. It's it coming through the spirit. It's making you react. It's making you move. You see them in that way they be in church dancing. They be all doing all that's the energy. It's the Holy Spirit. But again, when these people, they got low life energy and they got the devil energy on them, the devil holding them down, the devil on their back, like that. Now they can't move. They feel like they're in shackles. They feel like they can't do nothing. I'm telling y'all, I've been through all of that. So I already know it. I'm already knowing. I've been around them, them, them people. I've been, I've been around it all. I already know it. Come on, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on. You know, you gonna know it. You gonna know when somebody truly there for you, and when somebody not there for you. You gonna know it. You gonna feel it. But they seek for that attention. Yeah, that's also just like people who cry like really be wanting attention. Like, yeah. Why the hell are you crying right now? Like, suck that shit up, bro. Like, the, like, bro, the real people, the people who act like they're the saddest people going through the most really be, like, just want attention. Because the, the, the real people who be going through it, you'll never you'll know. You'll never know. Like, like oh, they'll, they'll be the happiest people in the world, bro. You have no clue what they're really going through. That's, that's real. Like, it's been times where, like... That's a lot, too. <laughs> that's a lot. You ever seen, if y'all ever seen these motivational people, these billionaires, man, the Joe Dispenza's, the billionaires, they actually tell the stories, the motherfuckers be crying. And they gonna tell you that they had them days where they was down on their knees and that they was crying and they was on their knees and they was in the rain and they was in, they couldn't sleep and they had, their stomach was touching their back. They not, I mean, they gonna be, man, they gonna tell you, bro. They gonna tell you the whole thing. They gonna tell you the whole story and y'all gonna feel it because y'all been there too. Y'all not watching the right people. Y'all not looking at the right people. That's the problem. That's the problem. You focus. You got to focus on the right thing. When you get that focus correct, you know what I'm saying? Like a camera lens. When you get that focus correct, now you can see it because it's all there. There's no new experiences under the sun. They can't be. You know what I'm saying? So somebody somewhere definitely crying. Man, so it ain't no reason for you not to do it. It's part of an emotion. It's an experience. Like you go through the experiences and you keep holding it in, y'all hold all that stuff in. What happens is that's how diseases happen in the body. Diseases happen in the body because y'all holding back and y'all holding stuff in. That's how you have heart attacks. You're holding those emotions in. Don't hold those emotions in. That's the point of the emotions being there. So, for example, for example, right? <clears throat> you in a life or death moment, right? And then, like, your emotions is telling you to act a certain way, like get out of this situation. It's telling you to go. It's telling you to leave. It's telling you to exit stage left. But you decide, nah, I don't want to act out on my emotions. And then you end up in a bad predicament, right? And then afterwards, you just like, man, I knew I should have left. I, I, fe- I felt it in me that I shouldn't have been there, man. I knew I shouldn't even have went there. Like, you see what I'm saying? 
like you be knowing like the emotions already hitting you feeling it regardless of what it is you feel me and then you don't want to act upon it right so then again let's go to a good situation let's say i'm at for example i'm at uh i'm at my mom wedding or some shit right and let's say I'm getting some emotions build up inside because I'm just so happy. Like, she finna get married or something, you know what I'm saying? Or just anybody, right? A friend, a best friend, he finna get married. You think I'm going to stand there and try to act like a man, just like, oh, I, I can't just shed a tear for my homie? I can shed a tear for my homie getting married? What's what's wrong with that? That's what I'm saying. That don't make me, that don't, that don't change the fact that I'm still me. That don't change nothing. That don't change, that don't change the, the symbol of being a man. That don't change that. It don't change nothing. Man, come on, bro. I think being a man means that you're going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. If it takes you to shed them tears, it is what it is. The same way Jesus did, right? Did he not do whatever it took? Regardless of where it, it took him, he did whatever it took. The same as Martin Luther King. The same as Malcolm X. I'm pretty sure they all did whatever it took. I'm pretty sure they shed some tears, too. Back then, they didn't have no cameras, though. Now we got cameras, so we can't be egotistic. Like I said, I can't just sit up like, oh, oh man, all right, all right. Like, shit, when my grandma died, I cried. The fuck you talking about? I cried. I tell you straight up. <laughs> Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Especially when you love people, man. You, yeah, you sucking it up. What's going to happen is that's information in the body. Information in the body leads to what? All different kinds of stuff. It's been shown already. So again, you got, man, let that stuff out, man. Express your feelings, man. You ain't got to express it to people. You can express it on your own time. You can do it in the mirror. You can do it on your own time if you want to, but at least get it out. Get it out, please. Because that's another thing. People have so much in them to the point where they end up exploding on you. All at once, it's like, damn. Like, damn. All right, hold on, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just never show you. You know what I'm saying? Why do y'all, why do y'all, why do y'all act like y'all like a girl just to have sex with them? I never did that day in my life. I don't even know what that be, bro. What that be, bro? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Can you stop? I don't know, bro. I mean, Stop lying. Okay. I never did I don't that. Know who Watching this day, you're scared of or something. Oh, I never did that before. Um, so you never like let a girl on just to have sex with her? Nah, never. You never. just tell them what it is for the jump? Yeah, man. You better keep game. You know what I'm saying? Get down, you don't. But like, okay, I feel like... Can you like answer that? You say you're going to answer for other guys too. I, because it's easier. So answer for other guys. I just say it. It's easier. Oh. Like, most girls, you got, all right, this is all about manipulation. Like, you got to, like, you got to know what to say. You can't say the wrong thing, bro. Like, that's how ugly dudes get a lot of girls. They know what to say. You got to have a mouthpiece. So, most girls, you can't just be like, yo, I want to hit. Like, that's not going to work. That, that's a break. <laughs> that's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But you'd be like, you're so beautiful. Why are you talking to me? It might work, you know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Yeah, look, I'm a bridge. No, you didn't. Not one bit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like, bro, you, but all right, dudes. dudes all right. What question are you asking? You said, why do you guys act like it? Like, no. You said, why do you act like it? No, why are you having so, like, why are you having problems with it? You said, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just answering it. I just answered it. I just answered it. I just answered it. Well, keep game though. You said, you said, why are you yelling at me? You said, you said, people no. have, you, you said, people have, like, dudes act like they like just to hit. <laughs> dudes really, act like, no, it's not even that. Dudes act like, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why are you? That's crazy. I know that. <sighs> I ain't even gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> Why do you keep repeating the question? No, oh, because I'm trying to show you, bro. I'm trying to see what I'm about to say. Damn, okay. bro. Keep game. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it's not about I bet they like. They probably do like, but after they hit, it's after they chase, they don't mm -hmm. want it no more. And that's what I was talking about. 
That was what I was talking about earlier about the energy. Because when there's a connection, there's energy sourcing back and forth. Energy being tossed is like ping pong or like you playing tennis. Now it's her recording that she sent you a text message back. Good morning, handsome. She hitting your, oh, what's up, beautiful. Hitting your way. You know what I'm saying? But now after you, you know, or whatever, the energy going on. Now you, you ain't got no energy for it no more. And this is what I'm saying. Like, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you keep that energy high. You want to make sure you keep everything on, on tip top shape. You want to keep that edge on top. You know what I'm saying? Stay creative and stuff. You don't want to lose that energy because then the relationship gets born. Then it's like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Then everything they do get on your nerves. Everything you do get on their nerves. It's like, like I said, I've been there before. Like, <laughs> so I, on to the next one. Like the next one. Mm. But, but. That's why you, you stay celibate into marriage. That way, there's no on to the next one. It makes sense. Like I said, the word in the Bible makes more sense when you actually experience life and then you're able to re reflect back on the word. That's why they say you meditate on the word. Because as you live life, you're going to notice that certain words that didn't make sense to you before, as you read them, them words again, now it all of a sudden makes sense to you. Now you can read in between the lines. Now it's not parables and stories no more. Now this is actual real learning and teaching for you. But again, most people took that book and just put it down and never looked back at it. They read the book by its cover. Not, they didn't actually open the book. You see what I'm saying? They didn't actually open it. You know what I'm saying? So they got distracted by everything else in life. Forgot that it was a manual. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like all these stories that already happen. It's just things being repeated and processes being repeated over because people keep making the same mistakes. You see what I'm saying? The communication ain't there properly. People ain't reading the word properly. People ain't teaching it properly. There's a whole lot of uneducated people and a whole lot of uneducated things going on. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going with intellect and you're putting God first, you're going with wisdom, you got a little bit different principles and morals. You start moving differently. You know what I mean? It's hard, like, sometimes, though, because the chosen ones actually are rare in, in a few. It's like, it's not a lot of them around each other. You're not going to find that many around. You know what I mean? That's like finding a, um, what they call a unicorn. You're not just going to find one, right? It's hard. You go through you go through two billion people and you and you find that one unicorn. You see what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't something it's rare. It's rare. It's not something that you just gonna find these type of people. Cause these type of people they don't just be out there like that. And when they do out there, they they out there like that and you see them, that means God sent you to them most likely to learn something. Most likely. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's their teaching, that's what they're supposed to do. They the messenger. So you don't shoot the messenger, they the messenger, they come with the word. And then you come to listen, right? And again, I told you, they far from a few, bro. So you ain't gonna find them. You know how they got churches on area street. It ain't, it, all of them ain't chosen. Trust me on that. A lot of them just studied the word and they repeat and give it back to you. But they don't really teach you about it. It's a difference when they actually teach you about it. Because then it stamps and it's stained in you a little bit differently. It's almost like having a tattoo on your heart. You can't forget it. See what I'm saying? Depending on who you got the word from, depends on the teaching that was behind it, the expression that was behind it. Because if you didn't have a passion that was really giving you the word and it was really believing in it, you wouldn't believe in it either. Right? It just wouldn't because they didn't give it to you in the correct way. But when they give it to you in the correct way and they don't have like intentions behind the words that they're saying, they're actually really trying to give you the word and trying to really teach you, especially like teachers just in school. It's the same thing. In school, some of the teachers gave you some knowledge and they may gave it to you in a good way. And you, you really learned and you really wanted to learn and you believed that the teacher was telling you. And now, you know, you might have been, you know, got A's or B's. You might have been the teacher's best student type, you know, what I because mean? you really wanted to learn. But that again, that comes from being around the right people so when you're around the right people it's easier for you to learn it's easier for you to hear the word you see what i'm saying because there's nothing else going on so we just got to make sure we stay around the right people just stay around the right people to make sure that helps continue your life and your journey um and then the people that obviously not understanding the word or not understanding the teaching or they don't want to get it right now that's totally fine like he said show that unconditional love you feel me and when they ready to get the word they'll come back around and you can give it to them it happens. It happens for sure. It happens.
Let me tell you this, bro. All the girls that be want dudes to do a whole lot of chasing. Mm-hmm. That's not good, cause <laughs> <laughs> once you once you finish running, the race is over. Right. So 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 if you want them girls that that like to. I like most of that. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can't do can't do too much chasing. I feel like um. My legs hurt. A lot of girls want men to chase them because we like to see how far they will go. Oh, I ain't gonna get too far. I got you. I ain't gonna say I'm not, you know. I, I was just saying, like, I ain't gonna go too far, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be somewhat mutual, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for sure, mutual, but I feel like. Now, okay, now we like. What is chasing to you, though? Like. It's better to let the girl chase. I'm just saying. It's better for, for men. Because again, if you if you chase if you chase her or if you even give her that opportunity, now she's able to manipulate you. Regardless if she got good or bad attentions, you give her the opportunity, you open up that door. Now, when you don't chase, don't give them no attention. If she really wants you, her, again, her energy is gonna rise. She's gonna be like, yo, this is my guy, this is my man, this is my husband, this is the only person I wanna be with, this is the person that I see. She feels that for you. She trusts in God, God leading her right. She trusts in her, in her intuition. She trusts in her heart. She like, yeah, this is this is the guy for me. If that's the case, then she gonna approach you regardless. She's not gonna let that go. She like, you're her guy. She can't let you go. You see what I'm saying? It only makes sense, right? But if she don't want you, she's not gonna talk to you. She's not gonna talk to you. She's not gonna approach you. She's not gonna give you no energy. So at that point, if you decide, oh, now you gonna hit her up? Oh, she like, oh, he hit me up. Okay. <laughs> now you know what I mean. So as a as a man, you stick to getting your money and you stick to your business and you mind your business and that's all you do. And the women that 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 wants you, she gonna choose up. She gonna start liking pictures. You gonna see her like ten pictures, twenty pictures. She might like one. She might you know what I mean. It'd be random. It's gonna be a random thing that happened. She gonna send you a hey. She gonna send you a heart or something. It's gonna be something random. And you can be like what the. And then you gonna see it. And then all of a sudden the connection gonna build off of that possibly. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all gonna be at the same event. You might be out. She know you going to that event or she don't know you going to that event. But y'all just see each other boom and she like oh. What's up? I had to stop by and say something to you. Or boom, you say something to her. Well, regardless, it happens in divine timing. So you never chase. Ever. You'd be like a lion. Lions don't chase for what? That's why girls like Leos. They don't chase. You don't chase. That's why they like kings. The kings don't chase. What are we chasing for? Huh? That's why they like people who reside and sit by the high most, that sit by God, and not out here chasing this and that and that and that. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's different principles for different type of people. And when you understand who you is, you know thyself, you can live life correctly. You ain't out here chasing. They fall in your lap, literally. <laughs> literally. They fall in your lap, man. You be sitting out there, you might be at the beach, Literally, somebody walking past, she uh oh, fell in your lap. Literally, it will happen. Like, life is so magical. That's what I be like, man. Anything can happen anywhere. <laughs> so it's like, man, come on, bro. Don't ever chase. No. What is chasing to you? Just on your body, bro. Like, you know what chasing is? Like, on your body, doing all this. Like, doing what you wouldn't normally do is chasing and, and not getting it reciprocated. That's chasing. And not getting this reciprocated. That was a good word, and that's a good statement right there. If it's not being reciprocated, for example, that's what I was saying. You saying, you saying, you you might send her a little, what's up, beautiful, good morning, have a wonderful day. And she's just like, and then you double, now you double a triple texture. You like, hey, hey, how you doing today? A month later. Oh, what's up? Uh, nah. That's chasing. Now, now you chasing her. She obviously ain't replied back to no messages. That's chasing I've been there before. So I for, for sure know. You know what I'm saying? That's chasing. Now, if you sent her a message, she got back to you, boom, y'all having a friendly conversation, she got a little busy life, whatever the case may be. And that's totally fine. But at the same time, like I said, if the girl wants you, regardless of how busy her life is, she going to make sure you she book you into her schedule. She going to make sure that you somewhere up in that week, somewhere within that month, that you got some time and that y'all get to spend time together because she likes you and she wants to get to know you, right?
come on now. We all got the 24 hours. We all got the 30 days. We all got the 365 days. We all got all of that. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's always time. You see what I'm saying? It's a simple. It could be a simple 30 second, a minute, FaceTime call, whatever the case may be. There's always going to be time. When somebody like you, they want to see what you're up to. They want to make sure that they contact you. They want to make sure that they in it with you. Now, again, we got social media now. So people, what they do is they tend to do is they tend to not say nothing. They tend to just watch in the background. They see you posting. They don't even like the picture. They don't even, you know what I'm saying? That's what they tend to do. But with that being said, the people that's doing that, guess what? They're going to be the ones who end up looking back. Now they're looking at your pictures. Now all of a sudden, now you're in a relationship. Now you married. Now you got kids. They're like, damn, man. I used to like so-and-so, man. I thought we was going to go somewhere, but it looked like they already in a relationship. Yeah, they in a relationship because you never spoke up. You sitting there watching in the back end. So it's like, you can't be doing that. People going to move on. Ain't nobody waiting on you. Right or wrong. That's how a lot of women end up. They end up single, solo. I don't need a man. They end up like that because they've been just sitting back watching. Ain't giving nobody no chance. They ain't letting nobody take them out on a date. They don't trust people no more. Instead of leading with their heart and leading with God and allowing people to have the opportunity to show them. Because everybody ain't the same. Every man ain't the same. You got to allow people to show you who they is first before you give judgment. It don't matter how you seen them online or what this person said or that person said. If your mom and daddy like him, that shit don't matter. You got to judge that person upon how they treat you. And that is it. Because people treat this person that way, treat that person this way, and then come behind and treat you better. So you can't be like, well, he treated Ashley like this and Dom like that, man, he a dog. You can't do that because he may not dog you out, right? So it's like you got to give people the opportunity and chance to tell you and show you who they are. That is how you live life. Don't go off nobody else's opinion just because, oh, no, man, because everybody going to have an opinion. I promise you. My bad for making this video so long, y'all. Sorry. Like pleading to be with somebody. Sorry. She's dead. But like a lot of dudes, what they do is back to the question. They uh, they they have promised like relationships, like yo, we gonna be together after they hit. Yeah, that's that's weird. Right. If y'all, if anybody out there doing that shit, that is weird, and that's so messed up. Young yeah, people do that. But she said. You doing it? No. Why are you looking like that? Oh, I, 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 I ain't never do that anymore. Why do men try to tarnish females' names? That was a question. Oh, uh, maybe they be hurt or something? They yeah, be okay. hurt? Uh, let's go with that one. Maybe hurt. I, 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 I don't yeah, tarnish females' yeah, names. Right can't speak on that. Can't, can't speak on that. People be hurt to hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. Why boys are afraid to show to show their emotions? Because uh, a lot of reasons they don't want to get rejected. They don't want to like do too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That means they worry about what people saying. You can't even worry about what people saying. No. <laughs> no. I don't care if I'm on stage, man. And I want to bust out in tears. I'm busting out in tears. Twenty thousand people in front of me. I'm busting out in tears. I don't give a damn what they think. You feel me? No. Don't. Wash it. They not God. Again, you shouldn't care about what people think, y'all. Ever. Because they're always going to have an opinion. And when people always have an opinion, you worry about what they're going to say? Don't worry about none of that, man. Just keep doing you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing you. That is it. Anyways. Don't come off as too strong. But that means the person wants for you. And plus, some people don't trust people, so mm -hmm. you know, maybe don't trust them with that information. Yeah, that means that person ain't for you. If you can't trust them with all your all your information, if you can't trust them with all your heart, just like the old days, the old day, baby, baby. What about security? You know, when you turn like 80 years old, now you asking your girlfriend what's your social security number. You on the phone with, uh, you might be on the phone with, uh, you know, Comcast or something. Ba baby, uh, what about last phone my social? You don't forgot the last phone. You know the phone, but you don't. She know everything. You know the women are know it. But she like, uh, baby, it, 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 yeah, zero 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 zero. Uh, yeah, my my wife said my last phone my social zero zero zero. That's that real love. A lot of y'all don't know about that. That y'all been together for about 40, 50 years. You know what I'm saying? But you don't remember nothing. But she remember everything, right? Come on now. This is what I'm saying. The 
That's what I'm saying. A lot of people not even thinking, oh, I'm going to be with this girl for 50, 60 years. They're not even thinking that. They just thinking about, oh, yeah, well, tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, when you, before you even get into that, you should already be like, yo, 60 years from now, this is what she going to look like. This is what I'm going to look like. Oh, yeah, I'm rocking with that. Like, you should already have it in your mind. If you ain't got the beginning and the end in mind, if you ain't got the end and end the beginning in mind, that means you ain't, you ain't trying to, you ain't got no goals. You ain't got no, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing set. You ain't trying to do nothing. You ain't trying to do nothing. You can't even see. You ain't even trying to see. That's like when you when you set up your goals for the year, you at least trying to set up some type of projection of to where you would want to see. It may not work out, but it's like to where you want to see it go. You trying to list some. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on now. What do guys do when they're officially done? Like, what's the what's the breakup stage? Like, what are the breakup stages for guys? They start acting nonchalant. It's it's a it's a thin line right there, but they they gonna act extremely nonchalant. It'll be extremely nonchalant to the point where you know for a fact that person don't want to deal with you. They won't even talk to you. <laughs> like they obviously don't want to deal with you. It'd be so nonchalant. It'd be so nonchalant, like. Like he said, to the point where they, I don't know why they won't break up with him, but you know, no, depending on how the situation is going. But yeah, it'd be, yeah, it's to that point to where it'd be stupid nonchalant. It's one thing to be nonchalant and still attentive, like answering questions and like, you know what I'm saying, still doing your little, your one, two, you still doing whatever you got to do, blase, blase. But then to the point where you don't even answer questions anymore, you, you like avoiding that person, you're really not even trying to talk to them, you ain't even trying to look at them. At that point, it's like, yeah, obviously this person don't want to do with you. I don't understand that question. Why are you running? Like, what are the breakup stages for guys? Okay, Unless they communicate that they just need a little bit of time. I was going to add to that. Unless they communicate, they need a little bit of time to get their bond together. That's the reason why they're not talking to you. So that's why I said communication. Make sure they communicate to you, too. Like, if they're not communicating, then they may be just a little immature. Sometimes that happens, too. They can be a little bit immature and don't really know how to process the thoughts or the feelings that they have on the inside which sometimes happens. But it's best to communicate that. Because if you communicate that, now she understands that, okay, you're feeling some type of way. But if you don't communicate nothing at all, like she don't know what to think. She's going to start guessing. And that's when, you know, maybe you cheating. Or maybe maybe this or maybe that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure, at least if you communicate, yo, this is how you feeling. I'm feeling this on the inside, the outside, whatever. This is what I'm thinking. My mind is racing, da da da. Like you gotta actually have these conversations, have these, you know what I'm saying? So that way the person can know what you gotta reassure. Her. So that way she know what's going on, cause she ain't gonna be, yeah. You don't want her guessing. You definitely don't want them guessing. Well, oh, 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 so it's how it be. All right. Like when you first break up, or a girl break up with you, at first, like yeah, I'm late, I'm outside, I'm late. I'm lit, like, or, or it, it can happen in different ways. It depends on the type of person you are. Right. right. Or what type of person you are during that breakup. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes some people bring out different person. So, you could be lit, like, yo, let me see, I'm single, city boy outside. And then. City boy? I don't know, that's yeah. corny. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man, nah, you said it right. You said it right. Niggas, niggas if you, talk if like you that. know. I mean, I don't talk like that. But if you know, you know. He said it right. I refer to myself as a city boy. That is very weird. But, deep game. Some people do. Some niggas are corny. There's corny niggas walking. I'm <laughs> 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 saying, um, like they they be like lit. They they do a lot to forget about the girls. Probably mess with a few girls. Probably outside a lot, get a lot of attention, and then randomly it hit. You hear that one song you used to listen to? Ever. Mm-hmm. It hit. I told, I told him when I got out of my relationship, I said, nobody play Drake. I said, nobody play Drake. They got mad at me. They're like, you hating on Drake? I said, I'm not hating on Drake. I said, I just got out of a relationship and I can't hear none of that sap ass stuff. I said, man, play some money bag, yo. I need to hear some money bag. I need to hear some money bag. I said, man, I can't hear none of that sap ass stuff. I said, man, play some money bag, yo. I need to hear some money, man. I need to get to my damn money. You feel me? I was like, I don't want to be in none of that sap stuff. I ain't trying to be sad. I ain't trying to be out here crying. I was like, nah, don't play none of that. They like, he just dropped the album. I was like, man, hey, man, I'm going to have to listen to that album on, on another occasion. I got to, you know what I'm saying? Because when you in, when you focused and you and you in that vision and you in that motion, it's like you know it's certain things like you don't you don't bring you down. And sometimes music does bring you down because it brings you to different points of your life when you start thinking about certain things. So it's like if I'm in the gym, what I'm gonna be listening to some Drake for? Nah, I want to turn on something that's gonna get me pumped, gonna get me action, gonna get me lit, gonna get me heated, that's gonna keep me moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? It, 
like I say, anybody that visits the gym, I always say about the gym, cause yeah. But anybody that ever visits the gym, they know what I'm talking about. You ain't you ain't gonna play nothing. That's just like you know what I'm saying. It's occasions for all of that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely. Mm. You know that one joint song. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, like, like it just hit randomly. And you'd be like, damn, I got a little bit missed him. Or, and, then, and then you start talking to another girl, and you realize how different. Yeah. And the things that she do, that she, and the things that she don't do, you like, ooh, you like, I miss kind of. And she used to cook me food. Oh, she used to rub my feet. And the other girls was like, oh, feet, oh, I don't touch feet. And then you like, dang, I can't even get my feet rubbed. Now, now your feet all hurting and junk because you be standing on all day at work, whatever the case may be, whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It start hitting more and more. The girl she used to talk to. Especially if she was a good one. Like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's. If she was a good one. Mm-hmm. 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 Or, or you a guy and you get like super focused and like you like don't want to like go through that and touch it. Like you make sure like I don't, that's want, I don't want no girl to resemble <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. Focus but still aware. Yep. So I know when I see them red flags, I'm like, nope, that ain't happening. <laughs> see them green flags I'm like okay you might have a little chance if somebody see a red flag or like, nope I guess, you, I guess not <laughs> he got it do you think stretch, stretch marks are unattractive nobody uh, care about what those what is talking stripes nobody care about those stretch marks that, that let us know it's real <laughs> stretch marks I mean, it's real mm-hmm. them motherfuckers stretched out them motherfuckers are real uh-huh. Like, when you got the little, 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 little marks on your butt, or like on your cheeks, right here. Mm-hmm. I like that. I don't have Yeah, I don't, I don't think. Yeah. But like, I know, like, when, when you got a baby, you see it. Really? Yeah, right? When people have Not babies, always. you have stress marks. Not always. Sometimes, yeah. But even that, like, it'd be understandable. Like, ain't that wrong with it? It'd be understandable, bro. Yep. I don't, I don't, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. A couple of them, yeah, I had a little, yeah. Man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even about that. It's, it's the actual person, it's the spirit, it's the, it's the love that you have for that person, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about the stretch marks, and all it ain't about the, you know what I'm saying, the wrinkles in the tummy and all that. It ain't even about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you see shit, I was, you kissing on it. Stretch mark here and there. It ain't about that, you know what I'm saying? You look past that, you start showing that real unconditional love that he was talking about. You look past all of that. Man, I remember this one girl, uh, I guess when she was younger, she had heart procedure, so she had a cut going straight down from the top on her chest like that. You, ain't look, you look past all of that. It ain't really like, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, when they have the baby, they still be like droopy. Like, stretch mark. Like, they like that. I don't know if that's attractive, but I mean, I can't really blame you because you just had a baby. Right, right. Really so, like, that's not really like. You look past all that stuff, like. But I'm not looking for people who, like, just had babies, so. You know, guys look at their back shots. Oh! <laughs> Everything. What's back shots? You don't know what back shots are? No, what is that? Explain to Tell me what it is. It, why do you, you know what it is? Stop, stop doing tell that. Me what back shots I'm are. asking what, you. What are back shots? Wait, down. <laughs> back shots. Back shots when you like you hit somebody in the back, in the back of the Oh my head. god! Stop trying to like. Are you? What's, what, what's back shots? Your your family right here. What's back shots? No, your family. Like, I'm gonna cut this out. Your family, you watch it. Shout out, mom. Shout out, my dad. Shout out, my family. Ah, uh, you ain't being yourself. You ain't being yourself. Like, he feels some type of way. See, this is what happens. It's okay. I understand. But uh, Speed be himself. So I don't see why you not being yourself. Speed is a kid and he be himself. I don't see why you not. You need to be worried about people watching and what they thinking and what they going to say. You living your life, bro. You was a grown man, bro. Or you, was, you was a teen, whatever you is. But regardless, you going to experience stuff. So, man, you can talk about it, man. Don't sit there and feel like you got to hold stuff back. That's what I be talking. I just told y'all about this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's being shown on camera. You confident, man. You being yourself, man. You be like, yo, back shots. Yeah, I know about back shots. Your dad can be like, oh, yeah, son. Tell me about them back shots, son. Like, I mean, he should be proud that you know something. And at least you can yeah, make sure you tell him. Make sure you wear protection. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a leader, bro. Be a man, bro. You just shine away back shots. What's that? Back shots. Man. You got your tail between your legs, man. You little puppy. Like, man, come on, bro.
For real, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta be a man, bro. Can't do this on camera. You know what I mean? Like it's me, it's other little kids watching stuff like that, man. You gotta man stand on it, man. Come on, man. They watch me the big stuff. Nah, what about y'all still? I don't know about y'all still. I don't know either. But if they from the back, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing they're looking at the back. <laughs> I don't know though. I'm not too sure. Looking at everything. Looking at everything. Looking at a little bit of everything. Especially when they when you when you got a look back, when when the girls get a little look back and you look at her eyes, I grab her hair. Tight, you know what I'm saying? All that, all that, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. But yeah, you can talk about it, bro. Like, it ain't it's life. That's how you got here. Probably back shots. You know what I'm saying? I'm missionary, but regardless, that's how you got here, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure we, can, we should be able to talk about it. They don't even teach them enough in school, so it's like we need to talk about stuff like that more because a lot of people are just willy nilly just doing whatever, right? They don't know the right from wrong. Not necessarily, not everybody, right? And that's the reason why people be coming back home with diseases and all the different kinds of other stuff going on, right? Because they ain't know what they was doing. Obviously, right? Especially, oh yeah, and then if the, if, the, if the booty, right? You know what I'm saying? Got that little wave to it and you can slap it, you know what I'm saying? And all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You can wrap the hair up, man. You might pull it up like that, man. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? Up against the wall, like all different kinds of stuff you're looking at. Looking at her neck, looking at her skin, like her back, little muscles and all that stuff going on. That's why we like them girls that be in the gym a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Then she poking out on the side, she got the slim waist, you know what I'm saying? We ain't looking at all of that. We looking at everything, you know what I'm saying? We might look down, we look at her toes, like we looking at everything. Just being real. Or, you know what I'm saying? We could be looking in the air like, just like, oh, like this is the best life. It could be whatever, bro. So, so to, to explain that to Brooklyn, since she didn't want to answer, we're looking at everything. <laughs> everything. Look back. I might be looking at your hair or your back. Yeah. Looking at your hair. Looking at everything. Okay. We might have a little, you, you, you might be popping out on the side. We might get it from the side. We're like, ooh, damn, we start grabbing on it. Damn, I mean, we love everything. Like, you love everything. Yeah. I'm selling it, though. Now, that's my old experience in my old life. I experienced a lot, so. But now, I don't be doing nothing, y'all. Um, nah. <laughs> I'm chilling. Like, I ain't even trying to bring that up out of me. <laughs> I'm chilling. I miss that. Me too. Right, this, is the last, this is the last question I am. All right. Why do y'all lie so much? The truth hurts. That's why I tell the truth. I like that. I, hey, I give them the truth. Cause it's staying harder. Cause at the end of the day, when they turn 10 years later, they think back, they be like, he told me the truth. They remember it, man, he was a real one. Mm -hmm. That's why I always tell the truth. The fact that it hurts is the fact that I tell the truth. Cause when you lie, you ain't gonna remember the law. She ain't gonna remember the law. Ain't nobody gonna remember the law because it's a law. But when you tell the truth, the truth sticks. It stains people because it hurts. Give them the truth. Yes, that's what changes people's lives. That's what opens up their brain to think differently. That's what puts people on a different level. That's what takes people from being stagnant to moving forward in their life. You feel me? When you tell them the truth, you tell them the truth. Give the truth to people. You know what I'm saying? Give the truth. That's what I always do. And then half the time when you tell the truth, because this is like, that's like comedians. Half the time when you tell the truth, they don't believe it. You tell them the truth, they don't believe it. So at the end of the day, at least you like, I was a real one. I told them the truth. And then when they, they finally come back around, man, remember what you told me the other day? Remember what you told me like? They remember, remember it? Yeah, I remember what I told you. Man, yeah. Like, yep, I know. Because you told them the truth. Always tell the truth. You lying. The girl, she know you lying. She know you trying to manipulate the situation. She just trying to see what you're trying to get up out of it. She trying to see if she's trying to go with what you're trying to do or not. That's 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 manipulation right there. That's manipulation tactic. That's like a dark, evil tactic or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to be positive, you're going to be on God's side, you ain't manipulate her. You're just going to tell her what it is. And she's gonna look at the situation and y'all y'all gonna assess it, y'all gonna show unconditional love and y'all gonna work it through, right? So you wanna be around people telling the truth. People start lying to you, get 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 them from away from you. 
You feel me? Because you got to think about it. If they're going to lie to you about this, they're probably going to lie to you about that. They're going to lie to you about this. They're going to lie to you about that. Who want to be worried about all of that? That's a lie. That's a lie. It, what if they tell you the truth? You know, they're going to tell you the truth about this situation. If something happened here, they're going to tell you the truth about this. If something happened here, they're going to tell you the truth about this. And you know for a fact that they're telling the truth. So, for example, let's take it even further. Let's say we was on a Mr. Beast game show, right? We are on a Mr. Beast game show. We finna win $100 million, right? And 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 all they got to do is tell you the truth. But you know this person lied a lot. Now you sitting there thinking like, is they telling me the truth or are they telling me a lie? Now you got to question it. But if you know this person always tell you the truth, they always going to get the truth. Because you know. And you like, yeah. And y'all going to win it. Y'all going to win 100 mil. Boom, 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 boom. You're good to go. I always stick with people that tell me the truth. If they're not going to tell me the truth, I don't want them around me. You feel me? I've had people around me that wasn't telling me the truth. And i always seen the red flags. And it always was red flags. Every time I hung around, there was red flags. They will tell me something was this when it wasn't that. And I know it. And I'd be like, why they keep telling me that? And so I started, I started speaking up. I'm like, why you keep saying that if that ain't what it is? Oh, boy, oh, oh, oh. now they got it. Oh, 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 now they, huh? Oh, they start acting stupid, like malfunction. Oh, they caught me. Oh, they start doing stupid stuff. They start glitching out the matrix. You know what I'm saying? When you catch them and they lie, you already know. Get them people away from me. Start glitching up. Like, why are you stuttering? Now all of a sudden they stuttering. The, 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 huh? They don't know what you're talking about. You, you can't hear you hon, you can hear. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You start hearing all that stuff. You start hearing that. That's a glitch in the matrix. That's how you know that person is trying to pull your leg. They're trying to pull a fast one. They're trying to, you know what I'm saying? And you be knowing, bro. I'm telling you, y'all be knowing. Trust your intuition. Trust your heart. Trust your mind. Trust it. Trust God. Trust. Bring that trust and that love back, at least for yourself. If I was truthful to you all the time, you hate me. I'm out, man. Cause you'd be like, oh no, you'd be like, you're not supposed to say that. You do, yeah. She do be saying that though. She do do that, but she gotta learn how to show her more unconditional love. Cause I give her the truth. I wouldn't care about what you talk about. You ain't supposed to say that. I say whatever. I say it. Yep, God told me to say I'm saying it. I don't care what you talking about. <laughs> so, exactly. That's why people. Love that's me. how they feel. That's okay. But I feel like. If boys were more honest, mm. they would gain more respect from women. Yeah. True. That is the truth. That is the truth. You will gain more respect. I mean, not boys. Men. Do you think I'm honest? I don't know. Have you ever lied to me? <laughs> not a lot of that, no. No, just in general, have you ever lied to me? No. Just like small, big, medium. No, so you never told me you was five minutes away when you was really ten? That's what I said. Small. Oh shit, boy. That means you a liar. That's the start of it. This is what I'm talking about. That's the start of it. You saying you five minutes away, but really you ten or twenty or thirty minutes. That's, that is a lie. That means if you just lie about something as small as that, that means you're lie about something bigger. And it doesn't make any sense when you could just say I'm 30 minutes away. Like you can even add five extra minutes on top of it. Let's say the GPS say 25, add five extra, you're like, yo, I'm 30 minutes away. You can do that. That's totally fine. But when you lie, be like, yo, I'm five minutes away, get ready. When you know you're 15, 20 minutes away, that's a lie. You see what I'm saying? You tell the truth. The GPS say 25, 25 minutes away. It may be about 25, 30 minutes. At least they know. They confirm. They're reassured of what's going on. This is what I'm talking about. Not sure if he lies like that, but don't do that neither. This is what I'm saying. If you're going to lie about something as small as like what she talking about, about being five minutes away, then you're going to lie about everything else. She right about that. You're going to start lying about, she, ooh. Ooh, okay. She's smart. Hey, Brooklyn, you real smart, actually. Even by asking that question right there, it just shows. Oh, wait, yeah, wait. I don't remember lies like that. I don't know. Okay. But yeah. You know, did you? That girl? No, I didn't. That girl? Even if it was 30 seconds, no, nah, I don't remember. And I'm playing with fire, man. No lying, bro. 2024, no lying, bro. That was the end of this 
No. No line. That was the end of this. I mean, <laughs> that was the end. Of this. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> So this, 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 this. Oh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. I can see that. That ain't gonna work. You ain't even gonna be able to finish your sentence, and you can't even finish your sentence now. So just imagine you trying to talk to him about something, and then him cutting you off. As soon as you, while you talking, and then he cutting you off. That ain't gonna work. That's why y'all friends now. I see it. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's not childish, bro. I'm just, I just got a lot of energy, and I'm, um, I'm playful, bro. That's not childish. Shut up. I'm just childish. Shut up. I'm, not, I'm sorry you like old men and shit. Stuff <laughs> niggas with low energy and low frequency. You just have low energy. What are you low talking about? Low energy and low vibration. Nigga, I got high vibration. No, you man. just have low energy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. She told me to do that. Thing. Hey, y'all be saying I mean him. I'm gonna push me out of my chair. Move! Sorry. You look so pretty when we yell at me. Alright, y'all. <laughs> this. <laughs> Dang. Why are you pushing me? This is the end of this video. Why are you hey, she don't fuck with you, bro. Like, like, Not like that. No. You make it, you make it the, the, the chair go down. No, you get the silent treatment. Um, all right, y'all. I love y'all, and you say you love me. And like I say, I got. You say you love me. Like I always say, we'll always say, Gio. Listen, listen. Hey, let's have you back with the rest. Yes, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> they funny, bro. It's all good, though. She'll probably warm up to him or something, man. Now, maybe she'll show him affection off camera. Who knows? But if that's the case, if you can't show affection on camera, bro, and you be showing affection off camera, I'm going to tell you right now, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. It ain't. It ain't. Cause that means you hide and stuff. If I was the guy and, and and a girl was on me off camera, and then we turn the cameras on, and as soon as she got to be all prissy and all uptight, and she can't be on me the same way we was off camera, no, it's not gonna work. No, I need I need I like people to be real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The same way you off camera is the same way you on camera. The same way you on camera. The same way you off camera. I like real people. Like I said, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> it's like that that's weird and that's how you get into situations to where the media like oh she talking to this person and oh he's talking to that person and all that start rumors start coming up that's how that happens it's because people don't be trying to show their true feelings and true emotions they be trying to hide stuff you can't hide nothing the dark always comes to the light you can't hide nothing because if you know you know <laughs> you feel me mm. All right, we're going to see how things go, though. We're going to see. You know what I'm saying? Only time will tell. You know what I'm saying? We, gonna, we ain't going to put too much up on it. Hey, Brooklyn, thanks for the video. This is actually a good video, man. They touched a lot of points and topics. Hopefully, I gave y'all some wisdom, man. I might have just been rambling. I don't know. Y'all let me know. All right, y'all, we out. Peace. <laughs>